Hello and welcome to today's tutorial for ABS with Game Maker Studio. Today I'm going to be explaining the functionality of the function ABS because not a lot of people know about it. So here I'm just doing a demonstration of two different angles A and B of 10 and negative 10 as I write it out now. Now I'm going to write out what it would look like as if you were programming it in Game Maker, in a sense, not exactly, this is pseudocode. So if A is equal to 10, it's going to do this function. So this would relate to your degrees function, if you're using one to create a GUI or something. And then there's going to be a, a reverse side to that, which is the B side, which is looking at the negative 10 element which again is part of your GUI and you're looking at as if it's greater than or less than. Now the beauty with ABS is it actually converts your end value into just a straight number. So you're not looking at a positive or negative value, it's just a straight number you're dealing with. So with ABS you basically plug in the number you're looking at, the degrees, and it goes straight across. The problem with ABS and direction is it doesn't account for 0 to 360, which is your end point. So 0 and 360, so you have to be mindful when utilizing that in ABS. But for rigging up quick GUIs and stuff like that can be quite handy. Now we're going to switch over to the game maker element and I'll show you how it scripts. Hello and welcome to the second part of this tutorial. As you can see I've got the right target this time unlike our first attempt. So I'm going to generate a quick GUI so you guys get the rough idea on what I'm getting at. So I'm just going to go GUI 0 which is just going to be my background whatever you want to call it. And it's doing a weird thing again. I'm just going to make a circle and call this Start. So if this was for your game, for example, for starting, you could do it this way. Now I also want an indicator. Oh, what I want. I want an indicator. Come on, game maker. Stop misbehaving. Thank you. And I'm gonna go G U I N uh, Sprite. Edit, and I'm going to go 48 by 48. And basically, I'm just going to draw this with, let's say, a. No, oh, we'll do green's a bit of a nicer color than red or blue. And you can see I've centered both of them. Now I'm going to go here, get another object, I'm just going to call this GUI. Now traditionally you would set something this something like this up using your point to direction and you'd look at your distances. But what we're going to do is I'm going to use ABS to do the same function. So I'm actually going to first go if point and we want direction. We're going to start from our center point which is our object. And then we're going to look at our mouse X and our mouse Y. We're then going to go and look at, oh, I need to firstly put ABS, wrong bracket, there. And then we're going to then basically look at less than 30. So that's going to create either sides of shell like what I just displayed in the diagram before. And I'm going to go draw sprite. Oh, too many brackets again. Sprite. GUI. Oh, okay. Maybe not my best naming convention. GUI indicate. There's no animation and it's X and Y. Like so. Now, if I get this right or wrong will be interesting. So, Game Maker draws a 
above each object, so I've got to put it there. And that's going to draw the standard GUI. Now let's see what this does. You people most likely think I'm crazy, or something along those lines. So, let's put this GUI here, and let's see what it does. So as you can see, it's set 30 here. So when I go past 30, so let's say I want it to activate straight above. So because this is zero, we need to move at 90 degrees. So we're going to come back to our script here and see in here where it says point of direction, we go negative 90. No, positive 90, because we need to add 90 to our direction. If I'm wrong, it's negative. Either way. The whole point of this is that you can quickly test. Oh, I totally broke it. Must be negative. Let's see what this does. Oh, there it goes. So as you can see now, it's on 90. And as I get closer, you'll notice that it's an actual line there that's being created, as you can see, it should go around there. So then it would just be a matter of then looking at, okay, I'm now active and displayed, and we just basically put another function there saying, for example, VAR um, start start equals true. If I can even type to type. Like that. And then obviously that's just then using a simple value to look at whether if it's true or not. So if I go false here, and the other thing I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to look for a mouse click. If mouse button, oh no, 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 I'm going the complete wrong way. Check. MB left, so a left click. I'm going to change this to true. So then obviously you then lead that into your game or whatever you're trying to do with your GUI. So just to prove this works, I'm also going to go draw text, oh, all in caps apparently, draw text, zero, zero. I'm going to draw this value which is my start, so I can prove it works. I'm also going to draw my ABS calculation, so you guys can see what it's doing mathematically. If I am not missing a bracket. And I'm going to draw as well my standard calculation without the ABS. So you guys can see all the sides to this. And why is this such a useful function? So now let's take a look at what this has done. Hopefully it starts on the right window this time, not the wrong one. Start on the wrong one. So you can see here, we have two different values. But one, no matter what we do, is treated. So this is our new zero point here. And then we've got 30 and 30. And if I click in this zone, you can see my 1 here changed from 0 to 1, which is an indication of true and false. So I hope that was helpful. If you want to see any tutorials, ask. I might be able to help. I'm currently developing stuff anyway for Steam sale eventually on Greenlight. Heads up if you want to go take a look at that at some point under Domain Studios, but that still hasn't gone up yet, even of this tutorial. But if you liked it, subscribe. If you want help ask I might be able to do a tutorial I'm normally more than happy I am busy unfortunately as well with other stuff but ask and I might get around to it if you liked it thumbs up subscribe comment I'll see you later have a great day